Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from My Just Tonics and today we're going to be carrying on, ca carrying, oh, carrying on with the uh, Allen Bradley M4 drive where we're going to be checking out the drive in remote control with two wire and three wire uh, setups and also we're going to be using a remote potentiometer and if you by any chance missed the last video where we commissioned the drive and run the drive in local mode definitely check that video out in the description below. So anything else, all the related manuals and ending I could see if it will benefit you in any possible way. Do check out the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. Here we go. Our first station is all set up. Let me show you what it looks like. So that's the station we're going to be using uh, for this setup, which is two wire control. We're going to have run forward, run reverse. We're also going to be uh, having a jog button and a uh, speed potentiometer external, which is uh, has to be from one to a ten kilo ohm. As long as it is without the, within that range, it doesn't matter. It will work perfectly. So uh, if you see the wiring wise, so we have a, a cable number one, which comes from a terminal 11. This is where our 24 volt uh, source is coming from. It goes through the e-stop. So when e-stop would be shut, uh, no operation will be available, as I already showed in the previous video. So then it uh, sends the power to, uh, obviously from here on, as you can see the number two terminal past the e-stop is going back to terminal one, which is our stop uh, terminal, in our case for two wire control. That is like, it's not like e-stop-ish. So we will not allow the, the, the drive to operate if that e-stop will be open. Uh, from there on, you get a carriage on sends the power to three normally open contacts. The first one, if you see these two, these two guys in here, the, the, the terminal, what they call it, two and a three cannot be programmed at all. The four is the common for the, for the you know, what's it called, the, the sink, if you're gonna be using sync, so if you're gonna get a power, external power to power the, the inputs. And then, then we got, uh, we've got a six, and what is it, six? Is it five and a six. Those two uh, can be programmed. And so as you can see down there, my uh, uh, cable three is going to run forwards. Cable four is going to go back to terminal three. It's going to be running in reverse. And then I skip one, the fourth one, and then the fifth, five and the sixth can be programmed. So this is where we are uh, uh, setting up our digital, um, uh, the, not the, the, the jog button, which I'm going to show you a little bit more about jog button as well. So that goes to terminal five. So that's pretty much how that uh, is set up in our potentiometer. You've got a little potentiometer in here. Here we go. It's a three cable potentiometer, and those are going for a, well, those numbers down there, which is a 12, 13, and 14 for a voltage. So uh, those two are used for the voltage. And regarding a uh, uh, setting up the parameters, there's a couple of things we need to do. First, we need to determine where we're going to be starting the start signals from is going to be our terminals. For that, we need to go to uh, P0, uh, one of, I think it's, uh, and select, and that will be in a P, P106, that will be our very selecting our command source for a uh, terminals for starts and starts and stops. And then we also need also need to, if you want to check out what, what other options are there, definitely check it out in a manual under parameter 106. And the next one is, is our a uh, frequency source is what sort of frequency we are going to be how like, how we are going to be controlling frequency and we are going to be using a zero to ten volts and that option uh, to, is uh, needs to be set for this setup it needs to be set to two for uh, external control with a zero to ten volt potentiometer and when it comes down to a a uh, the actual uh, digital input uh, five which you can see the page in here let's quickly show you. So you can see digital input one and digital input uh, two, and there's those are terminal five and terminal six. Those can be programmed with these commands. So as you can see down there, to, uh, to receive the jog, we you need to go for a uh, selection two to make sure that in in um, T two or two or one, you would need to select uh, two to be able to jog it. And it tells you as well where you can get the jog acceleration. You can do that at a A four or five. And jog frequency you can set up in an A404. So that's especially show you what you need to do. But if you want a jogging to be ha uh, happening uh, forwards and reverse, you can actually select that option 11 and 12. You can jog forwards and you can jog 
in reverse if you wish to. So uh, and for the for this uh, control station, uh, the jogging does not require a run signal. It will run independently. So that's how this is all uh, more or less set up. So quickly show you as well. If you go to T. 2, 2 or 1, the first one shot, uh, pops up, as you can see I have selected to 12, so it will, because uh, my wiring in here determines uh, uh, determines which way it goes, so uh, 12 will uh, for, uh, jog forwards uh, forwards for me, and if I swap these cables around we will go other way, So, but for me to run the jogging forwards I had to go for that option 12, so, so uh, that's how it is done for this station, so let me put the cover on and I will show you how that works. Here we go, so the cover is on, as you can see now we have, uh, if, if you see if the e-stop is in, none of the signals, nothing will be working because it prevents that to, that to happen. So that needs to be made sure that is uh, disconnected. So run forwards, here we go, let's see if you're alright, so it doesn't, doesn't allow you to do that, so you need, so you need to, here we go, and that goes in reverse. So uh, again, same potentiometer, and our jog is set at 10 hertz. So that's, ladies and gentlemen, how the two-wire control with the uh, run reverse jog and speed control works, and how it's been set up. So next one, let's look at how the three-wire control works. Here we go ladies and gentlemen, the next station that we are going to be using is all wired in, so let me show you what it's going to be look like, so uh, oop. so this is what we have, so uh, we will have a, a stop signal, run forward signal, and obviously with the selector switch we'll be able to uh, select which way to start, so when we, that's going to be on position, when that's uh, set on it will run in reverse, and obviously we have a speed control. Controller. But another thing what I want to say before I get to the wiring part of it, you still have a digital input, uh, the, what they call, I think it's, uh, the, well basically the terminal 5 and the 6 that can be pre-programmed to additional buttons like preset frequency if you wish to, or uh, uh, you want a uh, jog buttons down there and things like that, that is still all there, and if you uh, watch uh, again back to see how that's done, so there's the options are still uh, for you to do. The only uh, setting we need to change in here, to make this a work, it is if we select and we go to FP06, and we need to change that to one, which changes the whole setup to a three-wire control and allows you to run a uh, to latch the digital uh, input uh, one. So, uh, so uh, regarding when wiring, uh, let's go through the wiring again as usual. Uh, number one. Here we go, number one comes to our e-stop, goes through our e-stop, it doesn't really do anything after that, so then it, then it goes to the stop, and from stop it returns, uh, it goes back to a uh, terminal uh, one in here, so that's uh, gonna work as a stop now. Both of these are gonna be doing the same thing, it's just, uh, just e-stop here, will allow us to drive, uh, step the drive by just smacking it a lot than trying to uh, reach by a finger. So, uh, and then it goes to a, uh, obviously run forwards and then uh, uh, run in a reverse. So, and that with respect to we go for a terminal two and terminal three, four and five will go back to these terminals. And, and potentiometer stay the same as before. So, here we go. So, go for my term, my cables are a six, seven and eight, and they're going back to terminals a uh, 12, 13 and 14. So that's uh, the wiring and uh, that's pretty much all you need to do regarding a uh, change in a, a uh, parameters. So uh, let me put the cover on and we'll have a look how that works. Here we go, so here's our station. And as you can see down here, there's a little light in there, so, so when you select the switch you're sort of able to see on the drive which way it will be uh, turning. So by pressing the start button, as you can see it runs straight away and then we have our potentiometer to control it and you actually get a flip it in reverse and it will go in to a reverse and that ladies and gentlemen that's all there really is and by stopping it you can do that the best part of this one is in event of emergency you can hit that on and it will, it will stop the drive depending again depending on the acceleration time so uh so yeah it's, it's not really a amazing e-stop because you would need to be uh, like some sort of mechanical way of stopping it so like this guy in here but again, but at the minimum, you would need to do something like this, so I uh, would uh, sort of more or less help you out to stop the drive in an event an emergency. 
So, uh, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, this is a two wire control, three wire control video. So, uh, we are pretty much done with these two. Hopefully, it, uh, it gets you where you want to get and it gives you a good understanding on how to uh, set up your control station. Uh, wherever you are and what are you whatever you are trying to do so if you like the video please smash that like and if you didn't didn't like smash dislike comment below as usual any questions any comments and things like that uh, definitely uh, don't hesitate to a uh, ask in comments below and i will answer them as soon as and as accurate as i can so uh, other than that ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video